Hello, church family. This is Pastor Mark speaking from his office. And others who might be tuning in, we welcome you. And so just want to update in light of the coronavirus and all the things that are going on here in California. And I just want to keep you updated and keep you informed as best we can and keep the lines of communication open. So we, uh, we've decided to send out a letter uh, called Snail Mail. <laughs> And uh, I just want to read uh, read that to you. We miss you. We want to update you and let you know how much we appreciate you and thank you for your support, encouragement, and prayers. Also to let you know that we've been praying for you. Uh, we miss our time together. Uh, staying connected. Uh, following other formats we are using to stay connected. And you can join us on the website, uh, freedominchristchurch.org or Facebook, Freedom in Christ Church at FICC of the Pass. And YouTube will be Freedom in Christ Church Beaumont. And the email is uh, FICC Beaumont CA at gmail.com. And our phone number is 951-845-7775. So these are are available formats that we can keep you informed. Uh, so what's happening now? No services or studies will be held through Saturday uh, until uh, Saturday, March 28th. In the meantime, we'll be discussing how to move forward. Uh, we hope uh, to put in place home fellowships and updates will be posted on the social media. And then through YouTube, I will be sharing uh, messages uh, every Sunday morning so looking forward to doing that. And we are looking uh, for ways to communicate by email or text. Uh, this is where we need your help. As soon as possible, text or email or call us from your email address and phone number uh, you can, if you can receive text messages. So uh, if there's any needs, uh, just make us mindful of that, and we'll try to meet them as quickly and as best as we can. So... Um, as you all know, I've been experiences, uh, experiencing uh, things have obviously been changing month to month, and now it's week to week, uh, day to day, hour to hour, and now it's minute to minute, uh, where things keep coming down from our government or what we can and can't do. So in the midst of all this, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I hope that you would know and understand that we can have the peace of God in our, eye, our hearts and that we just need to act accordingly with the peace of God. And uh, we don't need to panic, but we need to trust. And so with that said, I want to share with you a few scriptures, uh, verses that I had been thinking about and the Lord had been putting on my heart. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 1, it says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, which is Jesus. Uh, in John chapter 16, verses 31 through 33, uh, do you now believe, Jesus replied? A time is coming, in fact, has come when you will be scattered, each one to your own home. You will leave me alone, yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you have trouble or tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And obviously, Jesus is just hours away from going to the cross. And he's telling the disciples beforehand what's going to happen. Uh, once they come to arrest them, him, they're all going to be scattered. And uh, he's just letting them know that. But uh, he's also reminding them with a promise that the promise of the Father was with him and uh, that they would uh, have trouble in the world, but in him they could have peace. And so we need to know and understand that and practice that today. I'm reminded also of Psalm 46, which says, God is our refuge and our strength and our ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. 
Nations are in an uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And so uh, I've been sharing with you uh, the past uh, couple months uh, about the possibility of our lives being changed in a day. And so now here it is. Uh, things have changed, and so we need to adjust. But in that adjustment, we need to walk in peace. We need to walk in joy. We need to walk in hope. And we need to spread that, uh, those very same things, because we are children of the Most High. And uh, I'm thinking of another verse uh, from Habakkuk, uh, chapter 3, verse uh, 17 through 19. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God my Savior. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, and he enables me to tread on the heights. You know, at the time this was written, uh, Israel was in a pretty bad place uh, in what was going on. Uh, but the reality of it was that Habakkuk found his comfort in God as God spoke into his life and, and comfort to, to the nation of Israel. Uh, so we need to know and understand that also. That same God, uh, comfort that God was speaking back then is the same comfort that God wants to bring to us and really to our nation. And uh, these can be exciting times. It just depends on our attitude and what perspective that we have on what's going on in this world. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. So, brothers and sisters, continue to trust in the Lord, our God, in our lives. And uh, in doing so, uh, we can walk in the peace of God. In Isaiah chapter 26, verses 3 through 4, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. And so uh, my responsibility is to uh, keep on encouraging uh, the people of God. And uh, to, as the Lord gives me words of comfort and peace, I want to pass those on to you. Uh, we also might want to make you aware that on Sunday mornings that uh, we will have, you will be having church in your home. So we're calling it F-I-C-C Church in Your Home. And so we'll bring, be bringing a, a Sunday morning service to you. I'll be speaking. Uh, for those of you who choose to gather in your home, so have called to other people, uh, you can uh, listen to the message and then have a discussion on that. Uh, remember, the Bible has equipped us, or the Word of God has equipped us to do the work of the ministry. So you can all come together. You can open your Bibles. Uh, the Holy Spirit will reveal things to you. Uh, you know, do what the Word of God says in the book of Acts. Meet from house to house. Share a meal together. Pray and uh, praise God. Uh, so these are the things that are available. We need to become the church that we need to be. And uh, as more things uh, become available, I will be uh, letting you know that, and uh, so just to remind you uh, of the promises of God. So uh, we can do three things. We can praise, we can pray, and then uh, we can also uh, know what it is to have the comfort of, of God in our life. And, you know, we can stay steadfast on the promises of God. So there they are. Uh, we can praise. We can pray, 
and we, and we can rely on the promises of God. So uh, until uh, I come on the air again and share with you, be encouraged, brothers and sisters in the Lord, and I want to pray God's blessing upon you. Uh, I love you guys, and, and I know that you're staying true to God and to his word and seeking the Lord in the midst of uncertainty in the world. We can be certain of God. So, Father, uh, we thank you for this day that you have blessed us with. Uh, we thank you for the opportunities that you've given us uh, to be the body of Christ and to be let, you let your light shine in our hearts and uh, let your glory fill us so that we can display your glory to a lost and dying world and bring hope. Uh, and so, God, we thank you and praise you that in the midst of, quote, the world's uncertainty, we can have certainty in our own lives. So I bless my brothers and sisters today with hope, and I bless those who might be listening in. And uh, so, God, we give you praise and we give you thanks for this day, and we pray this these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, God is on the throne. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And we have this Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and the one who guides us in all truth. And so stay steadfast in those things. God bless you until we see you again. Amen.